Hi, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Plot is unlimited clients, you get the squishy ball. Yay. This is my friend and colleague, Namisha. Hi. And she's gonna help us make a video so that you can practice at home. Off we go. Okay. Take the ball, put it underneath your bottom. Now with the ball underneath your bottom, you're gonna open up the chest. Scoop in your belly, rest on the ball, take one leg in a tabletop, take the other leg in a tabletop, and pause right there. This first part becomes a core exercise. You're going to hold your core, reach your legs away from you a little bit, just till you start to feel the quiver, and then bring them back in. Do that about five times. Don't change the position of your spine while you move your legs. Inhale. And exhale, you'll also want to be very mindful that the shoulders are staying nice and heavy. And on this last one, you're gonna go out and stay out there. Holding your legs out there, re-engage your shoulders, start to lower one leg further away, and this one becomes a holding exercise. If you had a close-up, you can see it quiver, and then bring it back up. And then the other leg goes down, and then you come back up. And then one more time, remember the leg only goes away as far as you feel your own quiver. And then come back up, and left leg goes down, and then bring it back up. Bend both knees in, and put your feet down, and rest right there. Leaving the ball under your pelvis now, lengthen this right leg out to the floor. And now you'll feel a lengthening happen in the front of this hip, because you just pulled the knees into your chest. So it feels really good to lengthen that. Then take the other leg out and lengthen that leg out. So now your body almost feels like it's in a little back bend. So you feel the ball is kind of pushing up on your sacrum, nice long pelvis right here. Take a big inhale. And then now take your arms all the way over your head and now you feel like your back is receiving extension. And then inhale, open up the chest. Beautiful job. And then flex and point your feet a little bit. And as you flex and point your feet, you feel your legs come alive. Very good, and then the arms come back down, and then the knees bend, the feet are flat, and lift up a good bridge, and we'll take the ball away, and then you lie your spine down. Now we'll use the ball to help challenge. Hold the ball in your left hand first, just so you can see this. Fold your left leg into tabletop, and push the ball into your leg, and the leg into the ball. So now your core and your trunk right here isn't moving, but they're pressing each into the other. It's mm -hmm. isometric contraction, so you can kind of feel that. Good, inhale there, exhale, pause. Now take this ball with your hand, reach your leg away and the ball away, and it goes like this. It goes away, and then it goes touch, press. Just three times each time, reach, and then touch, and then one more time, and then touch, and then lower that leg down, and switch sides. So again, we're looking at 90 degree here at the uh, hip, nice open chest, and then grab that ball, reach the leg away, so the ball goes away, and then the leg comes back, press. Good, inhale, reach, and then exhale, it presses, and then last time, inhale, reach, very good, exhale, press, and then lower that leg down. Take the ball now between your legs. And we're gonna take the ball kind of higher up into the thighs, good. So when you squeeze this ball with your inner thighs, it's not your bum over squeezing, okay? It's your inner thighs. And I want you to imagine that your heels are actually turning away from each other. So that makes you a little more active in your hip, okay? And then lift up yourself into a bridge. And as you lift up into a bridge, you're looking for this flat line between the thigh and the pelvis. Good. Hold that, get a good little quiver there. Continue to squeeze the ball as you lie your spine down. And as you lie your spine down, you're not gonna change your shoulders. That's one. Press and lift. Inhale big, get that pelvis lifted, reach. There you go, and then drip your chest down. Drip your chest, lengthening out your bottom all the way down. And then one more time, press and lift. Very good, big inhale. 
Now hold this bridge. Take your right leg out long, but still squeeze the ball. This is a tough one. This is an holder. He's just gonna hold. See this long line from the ribs to the pelvis, opposite leg working, bend that knee. Squeeze the thighs, take the other leg out. Hold, big inhale. And then that leg comes in. Maintain the squeezing of the ball as you drip your chest down. Net stays long, beautiful job. Everything comes all the way down. Nice job. Bring yourself up to sitting. Nice roll up. Always a good chance to get a nice curl up in. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Now this ball is gonna come behind your shoulder blades. This is kind of one of those non-discussion exercises, okay? So bend your knees as you lie down on the ball. Take your hands to support your head. Let your head face the ceiling. So kind of start to lengthen your chest. Beautiful job. So I don't want you to rest over the ball. I want you to work. Okay, so now as you curl up, this lowest part of your ribs, see my hand right there in the film? The lowest part presses into the ball as you curl up in the flexion, top to bottom, hold. There you go, and then bring yourself back. So level is so important. You don't just want to dump into extension. You can even bring your face back a little bit more. Yes, beautiful job, good. Now. The front ribs, they go towards your pelvis. Good job, pelvis not moving. Hold yourself right there, and then bring yourself back. We only need three of these. And then this is the last one. Very good, hold, hold, hold. And then bring yourself all the way back, and now you can allow a passive, juicy stretch of that thoracic side. Oh, very good, and then roll to your side. You're going to take the ball away and then come to lie back on your back. Last exercise to use the ball says that I'm going to put my right leg down on top of the ball. Press it out long. Long leg out. Take your left knee into your chest. So now you're going to give this leg a pull in, stretching this leg way down long onto the ball. Now this leg's going to come up. We're getting ready for single leg circle but I want you to be as aware of this right leg pressing down, tiny circle with the leg. So it's around in a circle and stop. And you have to believe people, you have to believe that you can do it. There's my shirt. One more time and then reverse it. Is your opposite leg pressing down on the ball? Yes. When you do this exercise in any mat class, it should be pressing down as well. Ideally, one more time. Bend that knee into your chest, give it a big hug, open the chest, and then take it out. We'll switch the legs. Right knee comes in. Rest that other leg down as you straighten that leg. Look at that nice engaged quadricep to help stretch the hamstring. Get around, and then come back up, and then circle, and then come back up. Last time. Very good, and then reverse. Last one. Good. Very good. And then lower your leg all the way up. Very good. And stay tuned because we'll be doing lots of other little snippets of things you can do with the ball and bands and different things like that. Merry Christmas.